Shalom. I'm coming in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakha Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and to the hopeful elect pushing his word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. Right. Um, I actually don't know the title for this lesson. Not as of yet. Uh, but it's about um, not heeding warnings. You know? Not heeding warnings. So, I'm going to pull up a video real quick. Instagram account. So, it's a crime account. Yahweh underscore Yahweh Shai. And it's a video. So, let me just let this play. A registered nurse in Nashville, Tennessee. Sorry, it's like you. Khalilah Mitchell. I'm reaching out to everyone about the COVID-19 vaccination. I recently took the COVID-19 vaccination. After the shot, I felt fine. But within three days, I went to the doctor because I had problems with my face. The whole left side of my face, actually. Um, I have Bell palsy now. And as you can see, I can't smile. I'm trying to smile. I'm just kind of embarrassing for you. But I just want everyone to know that I think this vaccination is the worst thing ever. And I would not give this to anyone. All right, so um, you saw the video. Right. Some people feel bad for her and you'll know, shed some tears, whatever. Like, yeah, it sucks. But the Most High told you and he warned you. And he warned you over time and time and time and time again. All right. Let me just get the scripture real quick. Just like you. Oh, it's an apocrypha. That's why. Really bad at typing with this phone. Bear with me. <clears throat> Ecclesiastes 12 and 10. Never trust thy enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Okay, so the most high told you. You don't trust your enemy. What why? What what in the history of the so-called white man tells you that he's your friend? Like where? Ex show me in history where where he it shows that we're friends with the so-called white man. Right? We're buddies with Esau, the Edomite. Right? Like it isn't it like never trust thy enemy. Never. Never. What does the word never mean? I know what it means, but clearly some people don't. Not ever. At no time. <laughs> at no time. Not even for a millisecond. Right? Like right here. Not ever. At no time in past or future. Not at all. Certainly not. Not in any circumstances. Okay? So not in any circumstances, past or future, are you supposed to trust your enemy. Right? It says, never trust that enemy for like a, as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. So iron rusts like over time because of oxidation, right? The exposing to the, the oxygen in the air. So it gets rustier and rustier and rustier. So, so does the wickedness of your enemy. It just gets more and more, they get more and more wicked. Right? So, that woman took the shot. This nurse in Tennessee. Um, there's a full video of it streaming around. Eventually, they're going to take it down. You're not probably not going to see that video because you don't want people to know. 
There has been a rumor about the Bell Posse when you take the C19 uh, Maxine. And there's proof right there. But like, most I told you not to trust your enemy and you went and did it. And look what happened. Are you surprised? Like, are you really surprised? Like I said, some people are going to feel bad for it. I, I really don't. Because like, you know, I'm I'm pretty sure at one point in time she was told about everything because Mosai also says that um, in scriptures uh, I'm trying to remember where it is, Coke. No. Okay, right there. John 15 and 2, if I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin, but now they have no cloak for their sin, right? So because, you know, the truth is out, you have the, you have camps everywhere, especially in America, camps everywhere, speaking the truth, all over the internet, speaking the truth, you can't hide, right? And the reason that is because the Most High brings a word to you and you get judged, Right? He tells you everything, you know, your Israelites, everything in his name, his son's name, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, you know, what's going to happen, who's, a, who's the, the devil, so-called white man. Right? He tells you everything. So you can't hide because you can't say you didn't know. So when you catch judgment, you can't be like, oh, why is this happening to me? Why is this like, well, I told you everything. You, you didn't listen. So this is your judgment. Right? So like, you know, I mean, like I said, it does suck. But the scriptures tell you not to take uh, Maxines anyways. You're not supposed to be taking any pricks in your skin or markings in your skin, which, is, which includes a Maxine. But like I said, you don't listen, then you get judged. Um, Job 13 and 4, but ye are forgers of lies. Ye are all physicians of no value, right? So these physicians, so-called physicians, these doctors are, are forgers of lies. They lie about everything, right? And it's still wicked what they did, yes, you can say she's a two-third, whatever, but she's still an Israelite, right? It's wicked. They're doing this only to Israelites. So you, they get the Israelites on the camera. They trick them, right? Um, make them think they're doing a, a good cause, getting their people va uh, vaccinated, not knowingly that they're just test dummies, right? But they're forgers of lies because in, on top of it, um, these physicians, like, if you go back in history... I think it was the Rothschilds, but the whole medical industry is a different topic, but the whole medical industry is based off of lies. Like they use their pharmaceuticals, which are based off of petroleum to cure or not cure, but um, what's the word I'm looking for? Medicate people, which they, all they do is mask the symptoms. They don't take care of the problem, right? But they know, right, the wicked elite know that all the cures are in the, like here. There's a cure for everything, okay? It's in the herbs, the plants. Um, and there's even a scripture on that. Herbs. Uh, Now you can read this. For one believeth that he may eat all things, another who is weak eateth herbs, right? Because eateth herbs because the herbs make you strong. That's why if you're weak, you eat herbs. Um, I'm trying to find that scripture. Just bear with me. Huh, I can't find it. Maybe if I type herb.
I can't remember where that scripture is, but maybe the plant. Plants. Yeah, I can't find it. I don't want to waste time looking for it. Um, unfortunately, maybe I'll come back. All right, so we're going to go to Proverbs 3.31. Envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways, right? So don't envy your oppressor. Right? We're going to go into the word envy. Jealousy, rivalry, you know, having, right? So, you're not supposed to be jealous of your oppressor, which is a so-called white man. You're, you envying them is when you want to be like them, right? Basically, you want to follow in their ways, right? Because they are your enemy. And the scripture reads, never trust thine enemy. So I don't know why you would want to envy your enemy. That doesn't make any sense. But and choose none of the way, of his ways, right? Which includes taking a Maxine, right? But I mean, you've seen the video. Of what happens when you do that, right? It, it is sad that she got that, but at the same time, it's like it's her fault. You know, that's a judgment. It's only sad because she's an Israelite. You know, but it's judgment. Like these two thirds, these, these they don't understand what's coming, or what's already here. They don't get it, and they're gonna find out the hard way. Um, but the elect, one third, that's not gonna happen to them. Most high's gonna protect them. Proverbs one and twenty two: How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity, right? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Yeah, so the simple ones is like that woman that we just saw. Simple one. Like I said, at one point, the truth was brought to her. She ignored it. Probably said it was BS. And, well, you know, that's where she is. But you simple ones, right? And these simple ones, like, especially in Babylon, America, they're very simple. Right? Don't really know much. Like, you're just sheep. And scorners delight in their scorning, right? Scorners, you know, they come around to your camp and talk a lot of shit, you know, scoffing and scorning you, you know. And fools hate knowledge, right? And you try to tell them the truth, but they get mad at you for telling them the truth, right? Telling you that the so-called white man is uh, the, the devil that, that, that the scriptures talk about. And they get mad at you. It's like, no, nah, Jimmy's my best friend, man. We always hang out all the time. I don't know what you're talking about. I love that guy. It's like, all right, man. You watch when Jimmy turns on you. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Yeah, turn to reproof. And who's reproofing you? It is the the uh, the so called the, the hopeful elect, right? In the camps, rebuking and reproofing. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to turn to them, right? Because I have called and you refused, because this is what they do. Because I have called and ye refused, I have, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have set out not all my counsel. And his counsel is or his hopeful elect, you know, teaching the word. And with none of my reproof, I also will laugh at your calamity. So the most is laughing at that woman's calamity. You know, what happened to her? Because like I said, she was told. She was told and she was warned. And she's one of many, right? They were told and they warned and they didn't listen. So the Most High is laughing at your calamity now. And this is just the beginning. This is, it hasn't even got really that serious yet. Well, it's, it, it's Jacob's trouble is starting because they are tar targeting Jacob, Israel, right? They mention it. They want to go to the so-called Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native Americans. So those are the, that's Israel in a nutshell, Right? But um, I also will laugh at your calamities. The Most High is laughing. I will mock when your fear cometh, right? And he's going to mock you. So he's mocking her while she's crying and everything. The Most High is mocking her. He's like, yeah, well, 
Because it's already too late for her. She already She's messed up now. She got Bell Palsy. When your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a, as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me. Right? It's always when bad things happen. Then they start calling on the Lord. Right? Right? It's always. That's how Jake is. It's always when bad things and they call on the Lord. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Yeah, but those times the most high will not be found. He will not listen to your call. Right? It's like you're trying to call somebody and they're pressing ignore. That's what he's going to be doing. Right? For they that hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Yeah, they didn't choose the fear of the Lord. They chose the, the, they chose the fear of Esau. They feared Esau, then they feared they feared Esau more than they feared the Lord. Right. They would none of my counsel, they despise all my reproof reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way, and filled with their own devices. Yeah. So eating the fruit of their own way, and their own way is following their trusting their enemy. You know? Trusting their enemy. And look what happened. This is like I said, it's only the beginning. And filled with their own devices. She got she got filled with their own device. Literally. With that C19 Maxine. Max Nightingale. Right? She got filled with it. And look what happened. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of the fool shall destroy them. But whoso hearken unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from, from fear of evil. Yeah, if you're listening to the most high, you're following the most high, you're following him to the best of your ability. He's going to protect you, right? You're not going to take a, a max scene because if you're following the commandments, you're not going to take that anyways because it tells you not to, right? You're, never, you're not going to trust your enemy because it tells you not to, right? So yeah, people will see that and be like, oh, that's, you know, to feel bad. It's like, well, I mean, you know, everyone has a chance to change. You, you just chose not to. At the same time, the most I didn't want you to anyways, because who knows what she was in her past life. And I'm just, it's not hating, I'm not hating on this woman or anything like that. It's just, she's just another example, right? She's one of many. But nonetheless, man, you weren't supposed to, I don't know, you shouldn't have taken that max seed. Proverbs 2 and 6. For the Lord giveth wisdom out of his mouth. Slakia. For the Lord giveth wisdom. For the Lord Yahweh. But Hashem Yahushai giveth wisdom. Out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. Yeah, he's a buckler. So buckler is a shield. Right? If you're walking uprightly, which is righteous in righteousness, he'll protect you. Right? His truth is a shield. Right? He keepeth the path of judgment and prever preserveth the ways of the saints. Yeah, he preserves the ways of the saints. Right, he guides them on the right path. Like, who else wouldn't you want to trust on your journey in life in this wicked kingdom, where there's literally dangers wherever you go, even stepping out of your house, you can get killed. Right? People don't even think of those things. Like, someone can just literally come, so you, you can be in your house and get killed. Someone can come in your house and just kill you. You know, rob you, kill you. You can get in a car, you just get in a car accident, or for some reason that day. Your car had a factory malfunction and exploded, you know. Like I said, the most I can do anything. And he has his attack, attack dog, Satan, you know, doing things on the left-hand side. So wouldn't you want the person that created the, the being, not person, but the being that created everything, that is everything, protecting you, guiding the way you walk, the way you, where you're going? Because you can't see without him. You can't see without Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, right? Um, right. And Second Corinthians two and eleven. Let Satan should get a, an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So, like, brought that up just because, um, you know. The, the hopeful elect, the brothers in, are striving the truth. They're not ignorant of Satan's devices. So the real ones that are not ignorant, they're not going to take the vaccine. Because if you're watching the news, 
if you're paying attention, you're being a watcher like you're supposed to, you can see what's going on. And people that are taking it are getting reactions, getting all these diseases. People are dying. People are actually getting this, contracting the C19. All these things are happening. For all you know, that thing is probably making you sterile too at the same time, right? And plus, scripture, uh, scripturally, you're not supposed to take it anyways, right? And then 1 Corinthians 14, 38, but if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. So if someone wants to be ignorant, you told them, you warned them, you don't want to listen, hey, leave him alone, right? Right? Because you can only do so much. So that was it on that. I um, just wanted to show that video so you can see that, you know, well, for people that are outside the truth that do see this video, see that, you know, it's true. You are contracting these things. It's not fake. Um, and just to edify, more point to edify the hopeful elect. So I hope this lesson was edifying. I'd like to close out by saying, Ka hala yahawa. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka Kwadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and to the hopeful elect, pushing his word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. Death and destruction to this wicked kingdom and the two thirds as well. Kwam Yasharala, Abad Babal, Shalwam.